Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will look at the grep command that helps you find strings or patterns of interest within files. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can sleep better at night. In this video, we will cover the grep command which will look for patterns within the contents of one or more files. This is very useful when you are looking through log files and need to narrow down the data you are facing to a subset of only what you are interested in. GREP, G-R-E-P, stands for Global Regular Expression Print. For an outstanding explanation of where the name came from, you have to watch the interview with Brian Kernighan. See links below. Alright, so for the GREP command, if you want to see if a file contains a pattern, such as a string of text, just type grep space, then the string that you're interested in, such as USB, and then the file you want to look into. So for our example, we're going to type grep USB, and then let's look at var log syslog. This returned a number of lines of text that contains the string USB. Now remember that most of Linux operates case sensitive. So if we type the command again with the capital USB, this returned a number of lines of text that contains the string capital USB. If you want grep to search for the string regardless of the case, you can use the dash i option for ignore case and we will get matches for any case of the pattern USB. So for example, grep dash i USB slash var slash log slash syslog. Now it turns up all of the combinations, upper or lowercase or mix. If you want grep to search for the string that contains multiple words, you can enclose them within quotes. So for instance, we can type grep dash i double quote USB space disconnect double quote slash var slash log slash syslog. So here we see that the lines that match the string USB disconnect are displayed. Earlier I had mentioned that there were a number of lines of results when the grep command was run. Let's see exactly how many lines grep found by using the dash c option which will suppress the normal output and only print the count of the matching lines. So we can do grep dash c of USB slash var slash log slash syslog. So as you can see, we get the result as a number of lines instead of the actual lines of text. I had mentioned earlier that grep can be used to look for patterns within multiple files. To do that, we just give the grep command multiple files to look at on the command line. Grep will now look through each file for that pattern. If the pattern is found, Grep will print out the name of the file and then a colon, and then followed by a line that contains the pattern. Grep USB of var log syslog star. The results come back with multiple matches, and we can scroll up, and we can see that it actually matches in multiple different files. If you just want to know which files contain a pattern that you are looking for, but don't really care for the exact contents, you can use the dash L option to list the files with matches. If the pattern is found, grep will suppress the normal output and only print out the name of the file with matches. And I'm going to go ahead and use sudo for this particular one because otherwise we'll get some uh, errors telling us only root has permissions to look at these files. So we're going to do sudo grep dash l capital usb slash var slash log slash star and then i'm also going to use the uh, redirect to get rid of all the error messages in the dev null so i'm going to do two greater than slash dev slash null and if you want to match files in other folders you can use the dash r option for the recursive search and which will go through all subfolders of the named folder. In this case, I want to see the number of matches in each file, so I'm going to use the dash C option for the count and dash R option for recursive. 
So I'm going to do sudo grep dash rc capital USB slash var slash log slash star. As you can see, grep will report the number of lines that match the pattern for every file specified. So you will see both zero when there's no matches or a number when there are that number of matches. Sometimes you may be interested in lines that actually don't match the pattern. For example, if you're interested in knowing which user accounts can log into your system, you could look at the Etsy password file for lines that don't contain the no login string. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the dash V option for the invert match. So we're going to do grep dash V, no login, and then slash Etsy slash password. The results come back to show us the users that have either a login shell or login shell of bin slash false. So let's tweak the grep command a bit to also exclude the lines with bin false as that's not a login either. So what we're going to use here is a dash e option followed by a pattern that we were interested in. And this combination can be repeated as many times as you have patterns you are interested in and grep will match for all the patterns. And since we're interested in the reverse, we're also going to include the dash V option. So we're going to type grep dash V E no login dash V E false Etsy password. And now the results that we get back is only the lines that actually have a valid login shell. Another useful option for the grep is the dash capital A and dash capital B for after and before. These options will show you not only the matching line, but also the specified number of lines after or before the matching line. So for example, if we do grep dash I, serial number, dash capital B, number two, slash var slash log slash syslog star, this will show you the make model serial number of every USB device plugged into the current system, right? Because it's going to match the line that has serial number and also the, the two lines before it. We can do something similar by doing grep dash I capital A, and then we're going to use the string of new SDHC in double quotes, and then var log syslog star. And what this is going to do is it's going to show you the model size and partitions of every SDHC card that's plugged into the current system. Sometimes the pattern that we want to match shows up within words that we're not interested in. For example, let's grep for the string number in the syslog files. So we're going to do grep dash I number and then slash var slash log slash syslog star. The result we get back has lines that has the word number by itself, or it's lumped in with other words. We can use the dash W option for the whole word to only match if the string is the entire word and not part of any other word. So we can do grep dash I W and then number and then var log syslog star. Now we don't see the lines in which the string number is contained in other words such as serial number. Since the letters RE in grep stands for regular expressions, let's take a look at how to use grep to search for patterns using regular expressions. Let's say we're looking through some Apache log files and we're interested in seeing the access from a particular machine. Let's say we're only interested in access from the network that starts with 14. We can use this command to find all access from any machine from the 14 network. So we do grep double quotes 14 dot double quotes access dot log. So this comes back and will match any line that has 14 in it, even if it's not part of an IP number. Well, we know the format of Apache log is such that the IP number comes first. So what we can do is add the caret to it. So we can do grep 
double quotes, caret 14 dot, double quote, access log. Right, so what the caret does is that it matches anything from the beginning of the line. So it has to start with 14. So now if we run it, it will match all the IPs that start with 14. So anything from the 14 network or the 144 network or the 140 network will match because the dot in this case is actually interpreted to mean any single character and not actually the dot character. So in order to really mean look for the dot, we have to escape it with a backslash. So we're going to go ahead and do grep double quote caret for the beginning of the line 14 and then slash dot to actually mean a dot double quote access log. Now this will return only the pattern 14 dot which begins at the beginning of the line. The other boundary assertion is the dollar sign which means the end of the line. So let's say we're looking for the pattern ED dot. So what we can do is type grep double quote ED slash dot double quote slash var slash log slash syslog. This gives us a few lines which contains the word ED dot. But we're only interested in that pattern if it's at the end of the line, not if it's in the middle of the line. So we need to add a dollar sign to the end of the expression. So once again, we're going to do grep, double quote, ed, slash dot, dollar sign, double quote, var, log, syslog. Now we get results back where ed is at the end of the line. Now let's say we're interested in access from machines whose IP conforms to a pattern of 104.anything.anything.254. So let's take a look at a valid IP address. Right? The valid numbers go from 255 down to 0. If we break this up, we can have 2, 5, and then anything that ends in a 0 up to a 5, which covers from 250 to 255. Or it could be anything that goes from 200 to 249. So that expression would be 2, and then bracket 0 to 4, bracket 0 to 9. Right? Once again, this covers anything that's in the 200 series from 200 to 249. And then going down from there, we need to have coverage from 199 down to 0. Right, so we can break it up into 199 to 100, or 99 to 10, or 9 to 0. But we can simplify all that into the expression of bracket 1, question mark, right, which means we're going to have 0 or 1 occurrences of the number 1, and then bracket 0 to 9, question mark, which means, once again, we're going to have 0 or 1 occurrences of the digits from 0 to 9, and then lastly bracket 0 to 9. So this expression covers anything from 199 all the way down to 0. So now if we put that into our grep string, we can do grep dash capital E double quote 104 slash dot, right, because that's the beginning of the IP number we're interested in. And then we're going to have it match any valid IP. So we're going to do parentheses 25 bracket 0 to 5 end bracket, the OR symbol, the number 2, bracket 0 dash 4 end bracket, bracket 0 dash 9 end bracket, OR bracket 1 end bracket question mark bracket 0 dash 9 end bracket question mark bracket 0 dash 9 end bracket end parentheses and then slash dot and then we're going to repeat that pattern again for the third octet and then lastly we're going to have 254 because that, again that's what we're interested in double quote access log and because we're running on the Kane distro, which is using the GNU grep, 
we're going to need the dash capital E option to interpret the patterns as the extended regular expressions in order for this to work. Once we hit enter, we can see that it only comes back and matches the pattern of 104. Dot something dot something dot 254. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about the grep command, which can help in finding patterns of interest within text files. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. And please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.